Hello, uh, I have received my Orange Pi five days ago. Uh, I've made a lot of mistakes while using it. And I hope this video can help you to avoid the same mistake I have made. If you're using Raspberry Pi before, everything is very simple. You just download the OS image from the internet, flash it into your card, put the card in, power it on, it will boot. It, it, is, it is very simple. But here the things are a bit of complex on this uh, ROC5 3588 chips. So here I'm going to tell you how to flash it. The second thing is that it really depends on what your storage media is. Different storage media to flash an OS could be very different. As you can see, here we have a TF card slot. On the back, we can install an SSD here. It could be an NVMe SSD or a SATA SSD. It really depends on what you have on your hand. Now we are on Orange Pi official page. You can go to the download tip. Here I'm going to use Android image. So it depends on what you have, please download your image. On the TIFF card image folder here, we have a LCD one, which means uh, if you have external LCD detached on the LCD. Otherwise, if you're using HDMI like me, just download the second one. After we have downloaded our image, please extract it until you see the image file here. Now let's open the SD disk too. Here you can choose your TF card. Make sure this is SD boot. From here, please choose the image file. Open and you can click create. After everything is done, you can put your TF card into your Orange Pi 5. Now you should have uh, Android running it. I know this is a Chinese Orange Pi official page. Uh, if you're using SSD, but it is SATA drive, you have to use the Chinese web page. Please click here. Now you can see Android SATA SSD image here. Now you can download the first one if you are using HDMI. Since I have an NVMe SSD, I'm going to download the NVMe SSD here. Here you can see another reason why I'm using the Chinese page. As you can see, this is version 1.0.1. Another thing I should mention is that you have to download both images to flash it. If you're using version 1.0.1 alone, it will get you an error. Before we flash into SSD, make sure you have uh, Arcade Dev 2 and Driver Assistant. Now we're going to install Driver Assistant. Now we just click Install Driver. OK, now we can close it. Here we can go to the Arcade Dev 2. We open this one. Before we flash it, make sure two things. There's no TF card in the TF card slot. There's nothing on the USB 2.0. There are two ports on this board. This one is for data transfer. This one is for power. Now let's have your RK Dev 2 programs running on your computer. And now plug this onto your computer. Now we have our board plugged onto the computer. We have this one is the power cable. You must hold this button. As you can see, there's a small button here. Hold this button and put the power in it. Now we can see we found one mask room device here. So let's go to upgrade firmware tape. Choose firmware. So as you can see, I have extracted all my image files to this folder. Make sure you have to flash the 0, 0, 0, 0.0 first. Now you can click upgrade.
So after it's done, you should see it's blinking here. Now you can plug the power off. We have to do exactly the same thing as we did before. Hold this button and put your power in. Here we see it again, mask room device. Upgrade firmware. Now we can choose 1.0.1 and click upgrade. Sometimes it's crash, I don't know why. Let's do it again. Plug it off. Hold the button. Put power on. From where? Now you see it's blinking. Success! The only difference between the EVME and SETA is that you have to download different images. Unfortunately, I don't have a SETA SSD with me, so I think this one should work alone. I tried to use this one alone yesterday. And this is what I got. It said switch into PCIe storage file. So you have to flash this one first, then this one.